Hi BC, it's Aaron, Ruth Alamere, and today I'm going to be talking about another one of my favorite um, metal bands, um, Twisted Sister. And um, before that, I've got a, a, a contest winning I was going to show, and it's metal, so I thought I'd throw that in here as well. And um, at the end of all these, I'm going to try to um, also highlight a band that was not very well known, and just show if it's one to three records of them, however they, many they have, just to throw in a uh, one I can't really do a whole a whole thing on. So first off, um, I won a contest and it was the uh, Girder contest from Dolphin Dale. And um, Girder is a great um, music store, music, they got great stuff there, mainly Christian music, which is really cool. I mean, I'm not uh, particularly a big fan of it, but I do have a lot of it and I enjoy it. And um, so I was really happy to win these, so I'd never heard them. So I've got this in the mail today, I'm really excited, I've been waiting for a while. I'll open this up and um, check them out. So let's see what we got here. First off we've got, oh this is the the one I was really excited about. This is um, uh, Ken Tamplin and uh, Friends and Axe to Grind. So uh, Ken Tamplin's an amazing guitarist. I've heard him a little bit. What I've heard I love. I'm really gonna enjoy this. What I do is I, I don't really listen to CDs in my house but I do in my car. So, I'll, and I drive a lot for work, so I hear CDs quite a bit. I do that in Sirius XM in my car. So I'm gonna put this in my car, and um, the last CD I had in there was my friend's band, and I, <laughs> it was stuck in there for like two months. I couldn't stop listening to it, the uh, demos I had of him. This is really cool, I can't wait to hear this. So thank you very much, Dolph and Dale and Girder Music. And there's one more here. And the other one is a really cool one too that I'd never heard. Oh, that's cool, they have a, uh, before I show that, there's a, uh, girdermusic.com so go to them order they got this order form in there it's really cool um, they do sell vinyl as well so that's really cool and then the second one I got was halo life goes on really cool can't wait to hear these so I'm, I'm excited um, throw these in my car be listening to those for the next month or two I'm sure and uh, maybe I'll give a review on them after I hear them a few times. So, again, thank you, Dolph Van Dale. You got a great channel, sub to Dolph Van Dale. And uh, congratulations on beating my Chargers this week. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how it goes. So, now I'm going to get into Twisted Sister. This band, um, one of my gateway bands, really, that got me into heavier music. Um, in my early teens, I was into like power pop, Beatles, um, a little bit of hard rock. Back then, we called everything heavy metal, though, like Def Leppard, Quiet Riot, that's what I was into. That was considered heavy metal back then. And um, a couple bands got me into the heavier side of it. There was Wasp and this band were the first two that really did it. And uh, this is the very first record. This isn't the first one I got. The first one I got was, uh, we'll be coming up, Stay Hungry. But um, it was this, this is here's their uh, debut, Under the Blade. Still, uh, this is all, ever since uh, I really got into Twisted Sister, Under the Blade's always been my favorite album of theirs. Love it, uh, it's just so raw and heavy, and that's what I, that's my favorite kind of metal, is the raw, heavy, but also with the catchy hooks and great singing and uh, lyrics, I'm really into lyrics. Uh, lyrics mean a lot to me. Um, but this is just, you know, just great stuff here. And this is a European pressing on Secret, if you can see that. Really killer. I mean, Shoot 'em Down's one of my favorite songs, and I, Motorhead covered that with a really cool version. Tear It Loose, Day of the Rocker, Under the Blade, and Destroyer. Destroyer is so just Black Sabbath y heavy. Um, just uh, almost a Doom song. Really great. Sin After Sin, Run for Your Life. That's really great live. Uh, Bad Boys are Rock and Roll, and What You Don't Know Sure Can't Hurt You. But this here, see, look at how they looked here. They had two different looks. They had the street look and then the glam look. Well, the, not really glam. It's kind of like. Uh, shock rock in a way so but this is a great record twisted sister under the blade and then the one that i was familiar with first was this version of it which is a re um they remastered it and it it took away a little of the rawness but it made it kind of heavier in a way and i really love this album this this here is actually my favorite record because they actually threw on one of their very their very first single they had in like 1979 called um i'll never grow up now really cool song they threw that on here and uh, I just really, I really like the remixes of this. A lot of people like the original, I understand that, but this is the one I grew up listening to more. So this is the one, and there's the inner sleeve with all the lyrics, really cool. I always love their logo. Twisted Sister has always been one of my favorites, and there's the, uh, it was right side up on my side. 
the label there. And uh, this is just an amazing record. I mean, it's it's not, we're not going to take it, and uh, I want to rock. This is heavy, heavy stuff here. But it's still, I mean, it always sounds like Twisted Sister, but they, they had such an edge when they started. They're so great. So after that, after those two, that, well, one or two, they put out this amazing record, which is my second favorite Twisted Sister record. You can't stop rock and roll. And the back of this is really cool because it has those two looks. Again, the street look and then the uh, makeup look. And, uh, you know, I like both of it. And it kind of gives, back then, makeup like that gave a larger than life appearance to these bands. They made them like superheroes almost. And it was really cool. I really, I really liked it and I still do. That's why the glam look a lot of people make fun of. But um, it, it kind of gave them a larger than life persona. And they were like, when you went and saw them live, it was like, oh, that's something, you know, it was really cool. Um, but this is a great record too. The, the title song is one of the first songs I ever heard by Twisted Sister actually because it was the B-side of We're Not Gonna Take It and I had that single when I was a kid. And it's a heavy, heavy rocking song. I love it. You know, uh, Ride to Live, Live to Ride. It's great. I Am, I'm Me. Power and the Glory. Badass song. Um, they have one ballad on here, You're Not Alone, Suzette's song. That's kind of uh, my least favorite on here, but it's still good. You know, the kids are back and like a knife in the back of the starts are just so great and heavy. And we're going to make it. Just that energy of that song. Just, yeah, I love it. I've had enough. You know, I'll take you alive. This is just a great, great record. Um, I really prefer these two first, Twisted Sisters, all their other stuff. But I like all of them a lot. They're all great, I think. But my first, the first two are my favorites. I also have this 12-inch single of I Am, I'm Me. Uh, and then it has Turret Loose, Destroyer, and It's Only Rock and Roll from the Marquee Club. I'll be getting to that later. Um, and they're, they're just, it's like, um, they're, when they, you hear them live, it add, adds some heaviness and D Snyder is one of the best front men of all time. His banter is just legendary. And for a reason you hear him and it's just, there's a label there. It's just, he's just so great live and it's really cool to have these on here. And then, so next up was the one that uh, came out, what was it? 85? I think it was 85, maybe 86. Let me look here. Um. 84 okay so i was 14 years old and um we're not gonna take it came out and it blew me away i loved it and then i started like um i wrestled when i was in school and uh, you know afterwards i'd be hearing it in the in the locker room being uh, i was like what is what is this stuff because they were playing the whole album and i was hear hearing burn in hell and a horror terria you know captain howdy street justice and i was like oh my god that is so killer i've never heard anything like it and it just blew me away I became a huge Twisted Sister fan. Went back and got their early albums and liked them a lot. But this one here is the one that really got me. It did that for a lot of people. Got them into the band. I'd heard of them before this, but I'd never really heard them because I was pretty young. You know, 12, 11, 12 when those first ones came out. 12 or 13. Um, so, you know. And the, the first song, Stay Hungry, it's a classic. Um, We're Not Gonna Take It, of course, was a big hit. And I Want to Rock. And those are probably the weakest songs on the record, really. Because you got, you know, The Price and The Beast, SMF is amazing, Don't Let Me Down. But Burn in Hell is really my favorite. And, uh, and the Horror Terry of the beginning. Those two, man, they're so good. And SMF. <laughs> it's just all, this is an original, I've had this, this album since I was a kid. Well, teenage, early teens. And this is where I got uh, part of my name from when I was young. I, I thought it said, Play It Loud, Mutha. <laughs> <laughs> pretty dumb, I know. It's uh, you just play it loud, mother. But I thought it was Mutha, so that's where I got my Mutha Alamer, part of the Mutha Alamer name from. My friends have always called me Mutha Alamer, and Alamer comes from a Kiss thing. So, but that's a great record, and I was very happy when I put this out. I ordered it right away and got the uh, MoFi version, which sounds great. You know, it's a gatefold. Still hear it cracking when you open it with all the lyrics. And you know, it's all like all the MoFi's, it just sounds great. And the, you know, there's the label of it. Pretty cool. And um, you know, it's like all these MoFi's, you know, everyone knows what they look like inside, they're, they're cool. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, Stay Hungry, great record. And then after Stay Hungry, they had a, an album that a lot of people hated. Um, the first single is Leader of the Pack from it. It's from this album. Come out and play, and this is the one with the uh, cover that opens like that. But um, I always liked this record a lot. I thought it was uh, kind of misaligned and a lot 
under more underrated than a lot of people did because there's some really great stuff on here and the thing about leader of the pack they've been playing that live for you know since the maybe the 70s i know it's on my uh, live record i have uh, that was before like under the blade era so it's a song they'd been playing a long time so they it, you know it's they're real familiar with it and be cruel to your school is pretty cool on here uh come out and play that song i love that i believe in rock and roll i believe in you kill or be killed i love that one that's heavy fast um my favorite was uh, da, 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 You Want What We Got. I always liked that when I was young. Looking out for number one's good. Out in the streets. You know, it's an underrated record, I think. It's it's really good. And there's the band there. The inner. Play it loud, mother. <laughs> Mutha. Play it loud, Mutha. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I got the Mutha from, of course, in my name. So. And then, so there's uh, Come Out and Play. That was their uh, fourth album. And then they only really had one other uh, one other studio record, and I thought it was a really great one. This is Love is for Suckers. Matt, my best friend Josh bought this for me for my birthday when it was out, the summer it was out. So this is the same vinyl I have that he bought me. Um, really cool. Um, you yeah, know, we had so many great times together. And this is just a great record. Um, it just came with a regular paper, and there's the label. But, you know, uh, the the first song on here, Wake Up the Sleeping Giant, is one of the very best Twisted Sister songs. That song just kicks ass. Hot Love was a single. I always liked that a lot. The song Lovers for Suckers, I really liked the Dr. Pepper thing at the end. Great lyrics, amazing. Um, I'm So Hot for You, and Tonight, really great stuff. Me and the Boys kind of sounds like a, something from Under the Blade a little. Well, a little mellower, but that type of lyric. And One Bad Habit, I Want This Night to Last Forever is a ballad, their other, only other ballad I think they did. And You're All I, you're, uh, you're all I Need, and yeah, yeah, Right's really cool. But yeah, killer, killer stuff. And uh, you know, Dee Snyder, the singer, of course, I never went over the band. Eddie Ojeda on the bass, J.J. French and, um, oh, Eddie Ojeda and J.J. French are the guitarists. Mark the Animal Mendoza, of course, the bass player, and um, of course, uh, Joey uh, Seven Franco on the drums, who passed away a few years ago, which was sad. But uh, yeah, this is a great one too. I think this and Come Out and Play are very underrated, very good records. And then um, a couple summers ago, I was uh, visiting in Boise, Idaho. I, I live in a smaller town. We only have like really one record store here. We have another one, but I don't really go there a lot. Um, but um, there's a really cool record store in Boise, and I found this, and I was so happy. This is Twisted Sister, Live at the Marquee, 1983. And what this is, if anyone's ever heard this, I only have it on cassette, Big Hits and Nasty Cuts, there's the second side is all live. And it was all songs taken from this show. And so if anyone's ever heard that, they know how great those are. And just the, uh, the song, it's only rock and roll and I like it. The Rolling Stones song is, uh, you know, it's 10 minutes long. And Dee Snyder does this banter in the middle of it. It's, it just pumps you up and it's so great. Killer stuff. And, you know, this is like... There's a track list here. Instead of me reading them all off, if you can see that. I know it's all stuff from Under the Blade, except it also has, um, let's see, da, 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 da. it's only rock and roll, but I like it. Yeah, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll is on here. The Deleter of the Pack on here. Um, Let the Good Times Roll, which is on the uh, Big Hits and Nasty Cuts. And uh, it's got some extra stuff like them like talking about just stuff in between songs that wasn't on it. But all the, the highlights of this are, that, are D. Snyder just before the songs and during them. All the stuff he's saying is so cool. It's just, it, it's a whole experience here in it. And uh, they took most of the best stuff for a big hits and nasty cuts. But it's really cool here in the whole, the whole show. I think it was two shows they mixed together. Um, Run for Your Life and Destroyer are highlights for me. Just really good. And it's cool because I have Shoot Em Down on here, which wasn't on the uh, Big Hits and Nasty Cuts. So that's really cool. And um, I have a couple other related things to Twisted Sister I'll show. This here is Dictators with Manifest Destiny. And this is a uh, metal punk hybrid band back from the 70s. And um, if you notice right here, there's Mark the Man Animal Mendoza, bass player from Twisted Sister. It's also got Ross the Boss, who's in Man of War on guitar. And this is a really good record. They were a good band. I want, they had, I believe, two more records. I don't have those, but this one's really good. I like it a lot. It's kind of a metal punk. It's more of the metal side, but it's got a little bit of punk influence in it, too. 
And then Dee Snyder's had a couple solo records. I've got a couple of them. Uh, this one here is, um, I think it's just called Dee Snyder. And it's on a pink vinyl. Like hot pink, it almost looks red. It's, it's actually like hot pink when you see it with a little bit of white marbling. I don't know if you can see it. That isn't scruffs, that's actually the marbling. It's kind of real slight. But this has some really good tracks on it. Um, it's a little different. I mean, it's kind of, he went industrial a little bit for a couple songs, which is kind of cool. Uh, we Are The Ones, um, Close To You was really cool. Uh, we're Not Gonna Take It. Acoustic is probably my least favorite on here. I like it much better heavy. Um, Head Like A Hole they did from Nine Inch Nails. He does a really, really good version of that. Superhero, the song So What is killer. It's like an acoustic uh, swearing thing. It's really cool. But Crazy For Nothing is my favorite song on this. Um, if you get a chance, look up the song Crazy For Nothing. It sounds a lot like Twisted Sister. It's really good. And then, um, then also uh, this album, For The Love Of Metal, which a lot of people didn't like, and I don't understand it. I mean, this it has a modern metal sound, but it's Dee Snyder and um, uh, Jamie Josta was kind of in charge of the music and had guest stars on it. And uh, the first couple times I heard it, it's like, oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty heavy, but it doesn't sound like Dee Snyder. She so kind of threw me. And then one of my Tuesdays, I put it on, cranked it up, and uh, as Andy from Cloudy Milder would say, it clicked with me. It took a couple listens and it clicked. And after that. This is like one of my very favorite albums. It's come out in the last 10 years. It's just so heavy, so killer. Um, the, the title song for The Love of Metal, where he's talking about all these other songs is really cool. Uh, Running Mazes, the song, I call it the Arya Stark song, because there's a, a lyric in there that had, that's very similar, if you watch Game of Thrones, to uh, something that she says a lot. And, um, you know, Lies Are a Business, starts out with this heavy drumming, killer stuff. American Made, You Can't Stop Singing. Roll Over You and I'm Ready or Heavy as Hell. Um, they do, a, you know, The Hardest Way with Howard Jones from, where's he from, Kill Switch and Gage maybe? And then Dead Hearts, Love Thy Enemy with Alyssa White uh, Glutz from uh, Arch Enemy. But she sings in a clean vocal instead of the death metal style vocal. It's really cool. Uh, this whole album, I would highly recommend it, but listen a few times. And if you can, do what I do on Tuesday. Have a couple beers and listen to it, and it'll click with you. It just takes a couple of... It might take a couple listens, but once it does, it becomes like it's an all-timer for me now. And at first, I was like really on the fence on it with it, and it's just, I love it. And then um, also, uh, I really love this band. This is Widowmaker. I only have it on cassette, Blood and Bullets. I actually went to order this on vinyl back uh, 15, 20 years ago and ended up with a different Widowmaker band, but uh, they were really cool too. But, but this is Dee Snyder, Al Petrelli on guitar, um, amazing it's as good as any Twisted Sister record. And they had another one called, uh, is it called uh, Stand By For Pain? I used to have that, I don't have any more. That's really cool too. So this has gone on pretty long. I'll, uh, I'll do one more band though. This is a band that doesn't, uh, not a lot of people know about. Me and my friends, when this came out, listened to this religiously. I mean, we'd party to it. It's, um, it's called Lost Boys. And I was just talking to a, a buddy of mine on the VC, um, JC at Flipside Vinyl, uh, Vinyl Community JC, he's really cool, and I was telling him about it, and this is such a good record. It's Randy O from Odin and Jeff Duncan from Odin. The band was featured in The Decline of Western Civilization, The Metal Years. And um, this is, a, I mean, it's kind of a bluesy, kind of a, a moody record. It's got some heavy moments, but if you're looking for something really heavy fast, that's not it. But it's, his voice is so freaking good. And uh, I just love this record. I mean, the first song, Crying Out, it, and he has his voice, he has this, this weird thing where he, he he's just has this metal voice, and he does this really deep, growly voice too, like in uh, Misery and uh, Lonely Man, that's so cool. And the song, The Boulevard, is just, it's ethereal and just really great. Well, this whole album, I just love this record. I think this is one of the hidden, hidden gems of the, uh, late 80s early 90s I believe this is 1990 maybe I can't read it <laughs> but yeah this is a, a hidden gem in the uh, glam metal catalog if you call it that and his he's such a great singer so check out Lost Boys check out Twisted Sister Widowmaker D Snyder all that stuff and uh, another special thank you for Girder Music and uh, Dolphin Dell for sending me these I will get playing them I'm sure I'll love them and thank you everybody and have a great one Keep on rocking.